Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> it's market shopping day. We're walking to the market, get a little exercise, getting a little food. We got uh, vegetables and meat. It's what we go to the market for mainly. We go to the grocery, get our standard stuff. <laughs> standard. The standard stuff at the grocery over at Robinson's, and then we do the market for our vegetables and our meat. Yeah, it's a little bit cloudy, a little gloomy today. So, uh, what's been happening with us lately? Well, not too much other than recovering from that birthday party the other night. Two day. Two day recovery on that one. <clears throat> Damn snake, snake juice I drank was poison. Don't ever do that. Cobra juice. <laughs> other than that, let's see. Ow. Oh, dental work. I had, to, show? I had to, no, I'm not going to show my, my tooth, <laughs> but I will tell the story. So when we were in Mexico, and this was what, three months ago, almost. <laughs> uh, January. Around January, mm -hmm. I had a root canal done. I broke a tooth, one of my uh, molars. Yes, Mercy's always warning me when I'm on the camera of stuff like this. Feel step. <laughs> She's tap, tapping me, making sure I don't trip and roll. There's there's all kinds of obstacles when you're walking. Or maybe poop. Or dog crap. Yeah, always give me a warning sign. Step coming or pile head. So just jump over here. Yeah, because you're in the camera, you, you can see. Yeah, I know. She's, she's my backup here. She's tapping me for steps. She's tapping me right now. Now I gotta get another tap because I gotta step up. Anyway, had a had a uh, root canal had to be done in Mexico several months ago, and I did it. And then uh, one thing led to another, and I had to leave and go to uh, the States. So I decided just to get the root canal. Didn't go ahead and get the crown portion of that tooth done for various reasons, but uh, we just couldn't finish, couldn't finish it in Mexico. So I had it finished just now. They had plugged it up with some kind of plastic stuff the holes for the root canal. I said ah, I'd be good for like a month or so, the way they hooked me up, but I stretched that to about two and a half months. <laughs> it never came out. The plugs in the teeth and the roots never came out, so they must have did a good job plugging them up. But anyway, root canal done in Mexico. That was an adventure in its own. Uh, the dentist I went to in Mexico, their Novocaine didn't work very well. It was rough. I think I got four shots of Novocaine and I still wasn't numb. And I'm thinking, is this stuff old or what? Because it's not working. Generally when I get a root canal or any kind of dental work done, one or two shots and you're pretty, pretty much numb. Whatever they were using in Mexico did not affect me that well. So I just kind of muscled through it, man. I was just like, just get this thing over with. I just took the pain just to get it get it all over with. Because I was sitting there for a couple hours waiting for my teeth to, tooth to get numb to work on. Anyway, this cat shows up at the dental office and he had a, like a, toolbox from Lowe's. He broke out 
he broke out this toolbox and started going to work on me, man. You gotta watch, watch the cars coming. The intersection here, you never know when they're gonna turn in on you, so we gotta truck it across here. I'm like, man, I don't remember ever having Novocaine that never worked. So I don't know what that was about, but I was happy to come here and finish up this crown. I got my shots here, my Novocaine here, and one shot numbed me up better than four. So whatever they're using in Mexico is not the same as what they're using here in the Philippines, for sure. But uh, anyway, I finished the crown the other day. It's in good shape. She did really good work. How much did a crown cost me here? $133 for a crown. Tell me where else you can go and get a crown put on your tooth for $133. Bucks. Very good dentist, too. Thanks, Cowboy and Philly, for recommending this dentist for me because uh, that's his, their regular dentist that they recommended to go to. She did a great job. Very good dentist. Yeah, she's nice. Maritess. Maritess, yeah. And it's real close to close to home here in yeah, Hensonville. Yeah, we can walk. Yeah, Instead we can walk, walk in distance. Yeah, we could even walk there. It's so close. But, yeah, 133 bucks, guys, for a, for a uh, crown. I will go back to her if I need any future work done. That's for sure. I gotta watch out here. Motorcycle coming up the sidewalk. No, he just parked. Yeah, you gotta watch your step. Watch every direction. It's kind of hard to uh, work a camera and talk and walk with this kind of traffic. Good morning. But yeah, it's getting busier down this way towards the market. rice store they sell pretty much nothing but rice over here and then their competition across the street nothing but rice always got to have some competition Arabella, didn't we go there a long time ago yeah, or no? Yeah, yeah, long time ago. I think you got I think a, I think I got a haircut there way back. Yeah. Arabella, yeah. It's been a while. And we're getting up to the bridge. Mercy's clearing path for me, so I don't trip over stuff. <laughs> ahead of me here hey just tell me just clear out all the dog poop when you get ahead of <laughs> no, me I cannot do that, just, just kick the dog poop out of my way kick kick all the crap out of my way before I get there <laughs> clear the clear the path all right and coming up on the uh, little intersection here Yeah, it's a nice walk to the market. It's an, we'll, we'll walk out here and then we'll take a trike back because we're going to have two, two big armloads of food to carry. Well, maybe we will walk back. I don't know, but usually we'll trike back. This little uh, area right here at night is hopping with food, vendors, all kinds of stuff going on out here in the evening times. It's a different scene right now in the morning. But yeah, it's packed full of people here at night with food on the street. 
being sold. This guy's got some chicken. Going to the market with some chicken. They got some chicken here and some fish too. Hey, how you doing? Alright, busy little spot right here. Make it through. There we go. Alright, coming up here after the bridge. Everybody's setting up shop. You know, a furniture place right here. soda vendor and water vendor here lots of action over here on this corner too love driving through this intersection you can see how this works guys no stop signs no stop lights just everybody just does their thing makes it happen That's an adventure driving through this one right here. Let's see here if it's a safe way to get through without getting ran over. We'll sneak our way over right here. I'm taking this route. I'm taking this parking lot route. Get through here. There we go. Kind of run out of sidewalk when you get this far up. You just gotta watch your back. We're almost up to the market. Got some blue jeans for sale over here. Racks and racks of them. Uh-oh, this guy's going out. Almost got me. See what we're selling up here. Little carts, everything. A little bit of melon, squash, bitter melon, eggplant. I guess they got a, a deal where you don't want to head up into the market where it's so crowded. You want to just buy some stuff right here on the street. Make a few, make a few pesos profit to avoid the market area. I guess maybe some of these prices are better than the market. I doubt it. But everybody's got their own little uh, layouts, the little uh, displays of veggies and all kinds of produce and goods prior to getting up into the market right here. Yeah. All right, we got to squeeze through the construction area here. These guys are tearing it up, doing some repair work. Perfect timing. All right, here we go. This guy's recycling, doing some recycling. We'll sneak through his place here. <laughs> it's morning. all kinds of little vegetable stands to cross the street from the market as well and here we are see how packed we are today up here in the marketplace it is packed as usual yeah Yeah, 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 packed and packed with people, always. It is a traffic jam right here, folks. Everybody's trying to get through at once. Motorcycles, 
tricycles, carts. I'm going around them all. There we go. Whew, that's a good little walk. Everybody's got their bags loaded up from shopping. It's time for us to load our bags up. Got some underwear here, so you need underwear. Socks. There we go. We're going straight back to the spot where we always get our veggies at the back. Some good looking green onions here. Huh? Meat first today? Mercy says meat first today. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get the meat. Get the meat section over with. Then we'll do the veggies. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good morning. All right, meet up to the left here. Grab some pork, grab some chicken, maybe some shrimp today. I might do some shrimp. Let's go see what's going on in the meat section today. Good. good. Right off the bat, we got some pork. Mercy always liked this certain certain pork lady up here. We'll see what see what she wants to get. Down this way. Hey, sir. Hey, how's it going? Maybe in a minute. We'll see how it goes. Oh, we got. All kinds of good stuff over here. Looks like some shrimp here too. Back here, right? Guys, you just gotta smell the market, man. Smell the market. Oh, look at these big tiger shrimp right here. I like those. Seven, that sounds about right. It is hustling today. Hustling and bustling in here today. There, we're coming up on some food, some beef, some pork. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? There we go. Go ahead, go ahead. Holding up progress. Oh, right here, isn't it? Or no? Is this, is this our place? This is where we usually go to Anna's section here. We can look around though. All right, we got a deal on this pork here. There's no fat, no skin, nothing on it. 350 a kilo. All right. I can cut that myself. You want this, sir? All right, we got that for uh, about 10 bucks. Big old piece of pork. I don't have to trim it up. No fat, no skin on it. 350 pesos, not bad for a kilo. Let's see what we need next. Chicken, right? You can have chicken on me. 
Yep, we need chicken next. Maybe some beef. You want to get more beef? Yeah. All right. Oh, look at all these uh, sausage balls here hanging up. <laughs> Damn. Those are crazy. Is that, is that sirloin right there? It looks like it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's some good looking beef right there. Very lean and trimmed up. Last time we got the sirloin here, it was very, uh, very good, actually. Yeah. I'm sticking with the sirloin. Oh, that's a sirloin right there. Yeah. How much? Get, get a kilo of that. That looks good. Right off that side. This side. Slice. All right. Lots going on over here, everybody. It's just packed. Everybody's checking me out with the camera, though. Thinking, what the hell is he doing with that little stick? <laughs> You're good. Yeah, he is. He, he cut that right off there. You yeah. know I'm not. It's a big You want Yeah. Yeah, he's going to slice it up nice and thin here. It's already kind of thin. You know, cut it up nice and thin for us. Oh yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. Perfect. This one my mom. What? Your mom? Yeah. That one for your mom? That's the the single. Oh okay. That'll be good. You got the you got the change. Want me to dig it out? We're gonna grab some chicken over here. We're gonna find some chicken. Um, did we pass chicken before or not? I don't think so. No? Let's go down, let's go down here. We're on the hunt for chicken. And fish. What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> I like this, uh, let's look at the fish real quick. Look at all these milk fish. Those look good. Very good looking milk fish here. Look at all the tilapia. They're sitting there, sitting there breathing. <laughs> Waiting for dinner. Oh, look at those shrimp right Hi, there. Hey, Hi, how you doing? Hello, sir. Those look good. How much for this? $380. That one's $380. And this one? $500. These are okay. Yeah. I want to make us a little ceviche. Ceviche? All right, those are good. One kilo to half. Half, maybe. We'll take a look how much that looks like. Wow, right on, look at that. Yeah, give me one big whole chicken. That looks pretty good. I like that one. 190 for the kilo. 361 for that chicken. 360 is good, she said. Big discount. <laughs> we got a big discount, one peso. Got a one peso discount on that purchase. 
from 361 to 3, 360. Got a deal. You're welcome. Thank you. Come back again. I will. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You got everything in there? Let me take bag from you. But now we got to get some veggies. Whoop. That's a peso for somebody later. <laughs> get it later. Get it later. <laughs> So much for the discount, right? <laughs> Peso went down the tubes. Off to get the vegetables. Some mussels. All right, you gotta watch your step on this bad boy right here. It will be slippery, possibly. Yep. Nice. You bust my ass. It's always a bonus if you don't bust your ass, right? All right, back over here. This way is our veggies. Yes, right. All right, you, you lead the way. You cut me a path. Gotta get some fresh cilantro. There's your cilantro girl. All out front for you today. Just gotta watch out for the carts. Hey, hello, hello again. Watch out, baby. We always go to this little spot right here. Some good looking broccoli too. We might have to get some of that. That's a bien cool. See how much that broccoli is. Looks like a decent bunch. Get on this down this little track here. Some good looking carrots right here. That that broccoli's 45. Get got a little less here. <laughs> Some good carrots here. Mercy found some carrots that she liked. Those are good looking carrots. They're like a Bugs Bunny. <laughs> They're okay, Bugs Bunny right. cartoon carrots, right? Yeah. Just get a couple of smaller ones. There, that's a good one. There you go. A couple of those. You still buy them more? And two. You can get one more. They last for a while. I want to get some of these. Can I have a bag? Here's a bag here, hon. Yeah, just fill that up. They cook down. Woo! Good breeze through here. Thank you. More of a breezy spot. That'll do it. All right, we got green beans added to the mix. Get some potatoes here. All right, guys, we're wrapping it up today. Got our trike ride home. Mercy's gonna go in here because there ain't no room for me. And I'm gonna ride on the back. <laughs> I'm riding on the back here, sir. Shawarma. 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 <laughs> Gotta like the shawarmas, right? 
good. I love a shawarma. Shawarma for breakfast. Off. <laughs> I'm good. I keep my toes out of the spokes. <laughs> Right, guys that was our shopping today yes at the market we made it home <laughs> we made it back like always <laughs> almost didn't right yes. anyway I want to show you what we got we've spent approximately 46 bucks today is what it came down to and that included the trike ride home gave him a hundred yes. <laughs> so here's what we got I'm gonna just go through it real quick I'm just gonna pan across our table Pineapple, grape, mangoes, apples, kiwis, cilantro, some peeled garlic, bag of calamansis, some green beans, some potatoes, a cucumber, some calabasa. I don't even know how we ended up with that calabasa. I don't remember you Cal buying that. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> calabasa. I want to make my, my She dish. wants her, her dish, her Mexican dish with that calabasa. Which, what dish is that you make with that? Calabacita frita. What? Calabacita. Calabacita frita. 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 Fried, Fri calabasa. fried calabasa. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that takes pork. Pork, yes. So we got some of that too. So she got that for calabacita frita. <laughs> then she's got the green pepper, some ginger, a couple big old broccoli heads here. Most of that's leaves you get to take off, but that's how you get it here. Some celery for our chicken soup as well as carrots for our soup that we make all the time. We found some nice limes and then the meat. So we got a big piece of lean pork here. Uh, that was uh, two, ki two kilos or one? Uh, one and a half, one six. Oh, that was one and a half kilos mm -hmm. of some very lean pork. I'm leaving it wrapped up, guys. I'm not taking it out. I'm gonna refrigerate this shortly. We just got home. I got this uh, sirloin sliced up really thin and that was one kilo. Mm -hmm. I got a whole chicken and a, about a half a kilo of shrimp here for some ceviche that Mercy wants to do. Yes, I do so ceviche. all that for 46 bucks in the neighborhood. I think it's a pretty good deal. Did we get taken advantage of? Probably. <laughs> you never know. I don't argue too much with them at the market. You know, everybody's got to make some money. But Especially uh, when they, they ask me. Are you Filipina? I said, uh, no, I'm Mexican. <laughs> what about him? I said, he's American, but please don't give me American prices. <laughs> yeah, there goes the prices. Yeah, because a lady wants $520 for the sirloin, um, and it was 420 420 uh -huh. Yeah, it's always 420 It has been, at least. So I knew the price on the sirloin was right. 
think it was 190 for the chicken a kilo. I, didn't, I asked several vendors if that what the price was, and they it all was a little bit higher. No, no it was all it was 190. Nice. Uh, but who knows? They may all have that same 190 for me in mm -hmm. their mind. Oh, for, we never know. But foreigner comes through. It's 190. Everybody on the same page. <laughs> Who knows? It's, it probably is 190. I don't know. But you, you, you're always wondering if you're getting the real prices or not. You guys out there watching the video, you see some of the prices I'm getting in the market. Make a comment and let me know how. What should the price really be? All my Filipinos out there, tell them. Tell me how much I should be really Helpless. paying. <laughs> Helpless. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching our videos again, guys. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye now.